got um, some information that a new villain is coming in. He's got a connection to Caitlyn. Uh, blood work. Can you tell us about? Who told you that? It was. It was. Right. I don't uh, think. Okay. Yeah, I was what? gonna say embargoed. it's embargoed, but. <laughs> We're hopefully going to write about this later. But can we talk Unfortunately, about it? I'm not comfortable talking okay. about okay. it. I don't want to get in trouble with my bosses. But if you chase them down and get permission for me to talk about it later. <laughs> All right. So, so can you tell us about Caitlin's journey this season and what and how it's going to impact what she does next season? Um, I really loved last season of The Flash, the Caitlin Keller Frost storyline, because I thought we finally got to see their relationship with each other, and they really explored that a little bit. And I think this year we're going to see a bit more of Killer Frost, and she's going to get to sort of take the wheel a little bit more. Uh, and I think it's going to be fun to sort of explore Killer Frost's relationship with everybody in Team Flash, and she's got to learn a lot about herself. She spent a lot of time in hiding. And there was some set piece, uh, your new your new costume. Can you talk a little bit about that? I'm really excited about this costume. We started building it about a year ago, actually, um, and unfortunately there just was never time in season five for the new suit, so um, we'll start off season six and you'll get to see it, and I love it. I'm really, you know, I feel like there's some homages to the comic books in it, uh, and I, I hope fans love it too. And did you have any input into it? Uh, I mean, Kate Maine is a very, very talented costume designer, but we did get to collaborate. There were other things I wanted, like, I want her to be able to wear like the top and pants, so it's not always the full suit. There's, you know, there's a lot going on, which I love. You know, when you've been on a show for a number of years, how do you stop it from becoming a rough year? Like, okay, we're back in the flash, we're doing it again, we're going into six years. What keeps it fresh for you? I mean, honestly, for me, directing was a big deal. I loved directing last year. I get to direct again this year, so uh, that's been an incredible opportunity. Are you directing? Cisco's relationship has been so important in these years, and it seems like now they'll have a different kind of dynamic on board. What can you think about how they're interacting? That was another thing that I really loved about season five was they had some incredible scenes together. They had a really nice journey. Um, and I'm excited to see that continue in terms of Caitlin and Cisco's relationship, but also Killer Frost is new. Uh, and to, she's new to the dynamic, and I'm excited that we're finally going to get to see her perspective on things. And, you know, it's obviously different than Caitlyn. So um, I think we'll have to see Killer Frost and Cisco develop their relationship as well. Caitlyn's had like the worst luck with relationships. She has. Anyone on the show. Is she going to change at all? Or? I don't know. I'm really pleased that they finally took the time to like have her focus on a relationship with herself rather than this. Very literally a relationship with herself. Yes. <laughs> As an actress, do you enjoy that you get to play different versions of different characters? Uh... Oh, it's great. I feel so lucky, you know, to be on a superhero show, to be on a show of great writing where the characters really evolve and change, and to get to play two such different characters. It's really fun. And what do you envision taking three seasons from? Are we still making The Flash three seasons from now? <laughs> like, like, I mean, Arrow d is ending with season eight. But so. that, that's a two-part question. I mean, A, if it goes three seasons, where do you think the character's going to be? And then what do you think would be the natural end for the character? The natural end? I don't know. I haven't really thought about this. For me, it's sort of, you know, one season at a time. I'm excited for this year. I'm, you know, cautiously optimistic about the crossovers. We'll see. But I do think those that will have big consequences. This crossover sounds like it's been the biggest they've done yet. Sounds like it. I'm not asking for details, but is there excitement building for it, or is it more like it's going to be a pain in the ass to make happen because it's so good? I mean, you know, we do it for the fans. The crossovers are for the fans because they love them so much. Um, it is certainly a laborious challenge, but again, we do it for the fans, so hopefully. Since Arrow's been on for so long, and that's been considered the mothership show of the DC TV universe, uh, and that's going off now, have you been told, or do you get a sense that The Flash is, since that's the second longest uh, running show, that that's going to become the mothership? Is there a plan? I don't that know. That hasn't really been discussed. I think what's nice about the universe as it exists right now is all the different shows have their own space that they fill. Um, and they found their own way. I mean, Legends, you know, you look at where Legends started versus where it is now. It's, uh, it's a bit different. So everybody sort of found their footing. Which episode will you be directing this season? Season 6, episode 6. 
coming up. Well, animals have a chance to see a bat yet, but there is no nothing. Nothing. Well, from what you do know, which pair is the most sensitive pair? I, I honestly, I've only seen the trailer, um, but I'm excited. I feel like they've cast some unbelievable women on that show, and I'm excited to see where the crossover takes us. How's Kayla going to deal with the loss of her parents? Um, you know, I, I think it's something that's still affected her, but she also thought she'd lost her dad, you know, 10 or 15 years ago. So it's maybe not as raw as it was then when she was so much younger. Get a, a script and think about the timeline and be like, what? Because I directed, I knew that the writers have a timeline that breaks everything down. So I got a copy of that, and that helps. <laughs> how, how, how does directing actually? You? Now that you sat on the other side, how do, has that impacted how you act and how you approach the set now? I don't think so. I've always been um, pretty aware of all the different moving pieces. Uh, on a film set, it's easy for actors to be sort of myopic in their focus and only focus on their character and their storyline and whatever. And I think I've always been able to pay attention to the bigger picture, so um, it's just really allowed me to lean into that. Um, is there anything to tease for next season? Is there to tease for next season? Crisis. Again, biggest crossovers ever. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.